Arcadian Vanguard presents The Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Saturday, March 16th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sepervivi. We begin today with last night's WWE SmackDown broadcast live on Fox from the FedEx Forum in Memphis. The show opened with a 20-minute promo segment in which The Rock continued to taunt Cody Rhodes and world champion Seth Rollins ahead of WrestleMania. You responded by crying. You responded by crying. You gotta be me. That's how you respond? Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't give the title to my daddy, so I'm gonna give the title to my mommy. I can't give the title to my, you ain't giving anybody anything. Cody, The Rock doesn't want to talk to you right now, but The Rock wants to talk to one person right now, and that's your mama. Mama Rhodes. The Rock knows that you're watching. The Rock knows you're listening. You don't know The Rock, but you're gonna know The Rock in ways that you wish you hadn't. So Mama Rose, let The Rock break it down for you and how WrestleMania is gonna go. Your son Cody took something from me, and I'm going to make him pay, I'm going to make your family pay, and I'm going to make you pay. In the main event, Dakota Kai was disqualified in her match against Bailey due to outside interference from damage control. Naomi attempted to make the save, but the show ended with damage control ganging up on Bailey. In WrestleMania developments, AJ Styles accepted LA Knight's challenge for a match after laying out Knight with a steel chair. Jimmy Uso officially accepted his brother Jay's challenge for a match at WrestleMania, and Nick Aldis declared that Logan Paul would be defending the U.S. title at WrestleMania in a triple threat against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Legato Del Fantasma and New Catch Republic were both victorious in tag team matches. They're now scheduled to face off in a future match to determine which team will participate in the six-man tag team ladder match at WrestleMania. In other results, Santos Escobar defeated Dragon Lee, and Randy Orton beat Grayson Waller. After the match, Orton was attacked by Austin Theory and Logan Paul until Kevin Owens made the save. AEW was presented last night on TNT, featuring matches taped on Wednesday at the TD Bank Garden Arena in Boston. In the main event, Roderick Strong, Matt Taven, and Mike Bennett of the Undisputed Kingdom defeated Action Andretti in top flight with Strong pinning Andretti. In other results, Orange Cassidy and Trent Beretta defeated the Dark Order, and Konosuke Takeshita beat Commander. In injury news, Darby Allen broke his foot on Wednesday at AEW Dynamite Big Business in Boston, according to a report from TMZ that was later confirmed by Allen. The injury occurred during Allen's match against Jay White during an attempted front flip early in the match. Allen also confirmed that the injury will force him to postpone his planned climb of Mount Everest until next year. In Game Changer Wrestling News, WWE Shayna Baszler has been slotted to compete at Josh Barnett's Bloodsport event on April 4th in Philadelphia during the week before WrestleMania, according to an official announcement made yesterday. Baszler is expected to be one of several WWE contracted talents wrestling on the show, which is part of the GCW collective of events taking place during WrestleMania week. Baszler's opponent for the show has not yet been named. Turning to Japan, New Japan Pro Wrestling presented the 8th night of the New Japan Cup tournament yesterday in Osaka, Japan. In second round tournament matches, Ren Narita beat Zack Sabre Jr. and Yota Suji defeated El Fantasmo. And in some unfortunate news, Charles Jackson Crockett, known in the wrestling business as Jackie Crockett, passed away Thursday night at the age of 76, as was first reported by Mike Johnson of PW Insider. The brother of David Crockett and the late Jim Crockett Jr., as well as the son of Big Jim Crockett Sr., Jackie was a longtime cameraman for Jim Crockett Promotions in the 70s and 80s and transitioned directly into the WCW years after the company was purchased by Ted Turner in 1988. Jackie was the last member of the Crockett family to work for the organization, remaining on board as a camera operator right up to the very last Monday Nitro in 2001. Said David Crockett, quote, it has been a long journey for Jackie, and he went out his way. Tonight, Jackie's breathing was very labored, and when we thought he was gone, he would come back like a wrestling false finish. End quote. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, 
You can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.